Hi, I'm Brent, Territory Manager at Verathon. This video is intended to be a visual supplement. Please consult your operations and maintenance manual prior to using GlideScope products. The GlideScope Go 2 has an external power button, an LCD touchscreen, and the connector that incorporates Verathon's magnetic quick connect technology. There is also a USB-C port which can be used to export media and to charge using the included power adapter. Along the bottom of the device, there are charging contacts that can be used with the GlideScope Go 2 charging cradle. The charging cradle is sold separately. Verathon recommends that you charge the monitor prior to first use. The GlideScope Go 2 includes a rechargeable internal lithium ion battery. Included in your Go 2 monitor kit is a USB C and power adapter. The power adapter has a USB C connector that you plug into the USB C port in order to charge the monitor. Once you plug in the Go 2 monitor to charge, the LED ring should illuminate. When the LED ring is solid orange, the battery is charging with an approved power adapter. When it is solid green, the battery is fully charged. For all other LED ring colors and their meanings, please review the GlideScope Go 2 Operations and Maintenance Manual. You can also use the optional GlideScope Go 2 charging cradle to charge your monitor. To do so, place the monitor in the cradle and ensure the cradle's power adapter is connected to a hospital grade power outlet. The LED ring colors will work the same whether you're using the charging cradle or power adapter. Press the power button to turn on the device. The connection splash screen will appear showing that you need to connect a video laryngoscope. Choose your blade. I'm using Spectrum QC Hyperangulated S3 blade here. To connect, align the gray dots of the GlideScope Go 2 and the Spectrum QC blade. When aligned correctly, the two will magnetically connect. Video Baton QC Large and GVL Stats 3 and 4 are also compatible with Go 2. If using the Video Baton QC Large, insert the Video Baton to the GVL Stat of choice. Then connect the video baton and stat to the GoTo monitor. The hinge on the GoTo allows for a 170 degree vertical tilt to get your best viewing angle. While the GlideScope GoTo will technically connect to a B-Flex bronchoscope, GoTo is not compatible with any of Verathon's B-Flex single-use bronchoscopes. If you connect the GoTo to a B-Flex scope, you will see an error pop up on the screen. GlideScope Go 2 is compatible with the Spectrum QC blade portfolio. Both devices feature Verathon's magnetic quick connect technology. GlideScope Go 2 is not compatible with the first generation Spectrum blades that have an HDMI-like connector. A way to differentiate between the Spectrum QC and legacy Spectrum blades is the packaging. Look for the QC logo. Spectrum QC blades are single use and cannot be reprocessed. Spectrum QC has nine blades in its portfolio, five hyperangulated blades, two Max, and two Millers. Spectrum QC blades also have dynamic light control, known as DLC. DLC optimizes image quality and brightness at the vocal cords. DLC can be enabled or disabled based on your preferences. After you've turned on your monitor and attached a blade, your touchscreen will activate. The battery indicator will always be on the bottom left hand corner and tells you how many hours and minutes you have left of battery. If you touch the screen, more icons will appear. On the right side of the screen, the camera and video buttons will appear. To take a picture, click the camera button. To begin recording a video, click the recording button and click again to stop recording. To the right of the battery indicator along the bottom, the device name, date, and timestamp appears. To access the customizable settings, click the ellipses and the settings wheel will appear. Click the settings wheel and this will take you into the settings section. Once you're in the settings section, click features. Click snapshot slash video. You can toggle the snapshot and video to remove the icons from the screen if you do not plan on using them. You can also set up auto record so that the recording automatically begins once the blade is connected. Under Features, click Automatic Shutdown. To enable Automatic Shutdown, 
You can toggle the bar on and choose your shutdown timer. Please note, auto shutdown will only be triggered when a blade is disconnected. Under features, you can modify the overlays that are shown on the video recordings and snapshots. You can choose to keep or remove the date, time, and device name. To turn these off and on, toggle the button. For monitor overlays, you can remove the date and timestamps as well as the device name. To turn these off and on, toggle the button. You also have the option to have date, time, and device name appear for five seconds, then disappear. When using Glidescope Go 2 with Spectrum QC, dynamic light control can be turned off and on. To do so, click the icon directly on the home screen. Under Settings, click Media. This will take you to the screen to export and remove media from the device. You will also see how much storage you have used. When removing media from the device, you can choose to delete all snapshots and or videos and specify the date range. When exporting media, first make sure you have the USB-C plugged into your Glidescope Go 2. You can choose the media type, date range, and what to do with the media after exporting. If you toggle the encryption button on, you can encrypt your transport so the encryption code will be required to view the media later. Click export while encryption is toggled on and you will be prompted to input a nine digit encryption code. Once you do this, your export will begin. To view the exported media on your computer, run the decryption file. Your input folder is your USB-C. Your output folder is where you want the media to go. Type in your encryption password and click decrypt. Under settings, click regional. This will allow you to customize your preferred language, choose the date and time. Under settings, click administration. You can click on the device name to customize your go-to monitor name. If you click security code, you can enable and create a security code to access the settings later. Ensure you have the correct accessories for intubation. Video laryngoscope and STAT if applicable, stylet and endotracheal tube. Look in the mouth with the video laryngoscope in your left hand, introduce it along the midline of the oropharynx, no lateral displacement of the tongue is typically required. Look at the screen, identify the epiglottis, and then manipulate the blade in order to obtain the best glottic view. When the video laryngoscope is appropriately positioned, the glottic aperture is centered in the upper third of the video display. Look in the mouth, carefully guide the distal tip of the tube into position towards the tip of the laryngoscope. Do not look back at the monitor until the distal tip of the tube is no longer visible with direct vision. Look at the screen, complete the intubation, gently rotating or angling the tube as needed to redirect. Once the ET tube is positioned, hold the tube in place while the stylet is completely removed from the ET tube in an arc towards the patient's feet. For a more detailed video on the four-step technique, Please watch the four-step technique for Glidescope Hyperangulated Video Laryngoscopes video. Power down the GoTo monitor by holding the power button down for three seconds. Disconnect the video laryngoscope from the GoTo monitor by firmly pulling the two apart. The Glidescope GoTo monitor can be cleaned with select wipes or submerged in a cleaning solution. The Glidescope Go 2 charging cradle can also be cleaned with select wipes. Please review the Glidescope and GlideRite products reprocessing manual for approved cleaning solutions and cleaning instructions. In the small carrying case, you can insert the Go 2 monitor and put the USB C in the pocket. In the large carrying case, you can put the Go 2, Video Baton QC if applicable, and the power adapter. The pocket allows room for ET tubes and has a sleeve to place the USB-C in. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please refer to your Glidescope operations and maintenance manuals or contact your local Verathon representative.